I'm going to talk about the uh, course which is called Essentials for uh, Data Science. Uh, so in principle, I'm the coordinator of this course, but in uh, this presentation, I will be using work of uh, my colleagues. So uh, I will be presenting some lectures uh, designed by uh, Laura Sfeb, by Solomia Kuhaba, by Ramin Monajemi, Moarkani, and by myself. Uh, so basically there will be different steps, uh, uh, different uh, parts of the lectures or, uh, along the whole course. Uh, so this uh, this is a long course. Uh, I think it's worth six ECs, and in principle it lasts for seven weeks, and it takes two mornings each uh, each week. And maybe to position the course at this moment when uh, when you will be there. You will be already after uh, after the well the R course, and you would have used R already uh, for a while. So you will have some experience with uh, with programming already. So this is important because uh, in principle, essentials for data science course bases already on uh, on some computer skills which uh, participants uh, have. So uh, what is Essentials for Data Science? So in principle, this is a course of Python, of the Python language. Uh, so you could ask why in the whole program we teach several different languages. I think the, the first uh, answer is, uh, well, if you look at the job uh, advertisements at uh, what uh, various employees, so uh, from research or from industry, what, what they are looking for. The top three practical skills are probably Python programming. I think Python programming is like the, the top one. Then somewhere close behind there is R language. Uh, and a little bit down there is uh, SQL uh, language of programming databases. So. Uh, the R you would already have, uh, and uh, well, uh, we think that uh, then it will be time also for Python and SQL. So one reason is uh, well, basically what is needed by uh, by the market. Uh, and the second reason is actually, uh, I mean, uh, there is a like a long uh, kind of fight which programming language is the best. Uh, but I think, uh, so in my private opinion, this is not the main point. I mean, usually the language which you will use for solving a particular problem will be decided by the libraries uh, providing functionality which you need. You never write your program from the scratch. You usually base on tons of libraries which are uh, already there. Uh, so th this can be uh, one reason which decides which language uh, to use. Uh, the second uh, can be basically your direct environment. If you collaborate with people who program in Python, you will be programming uh, in Python probably. Right, so this is the reason why uh, why we teach uh, Python and SQL in this, uh, in this program. And the Essentials for Data Science course is divided into uh, several parts. So basically the first part is Python basics. Uh, it takes uh, four mornings and, well, we nearly start uh, from the scratch, from zero, uh, zero knowledge. Uh, then subsequent uh, four mornings is like more advanced usage of uh, Python libraries for the tasks related to uh, data manipulation and uh, visualization. So. To put it in uh, different words, uh, you will have big. Uh, okay, you will have some tables uh, with the data, and you will learn how to uh, reorganize the columns, how to look into groups of the data, uh, how to build summaries uh, from uh, subgroups of the data, how to filter the data, and so on, uh, and how to make uh, plots. Uh, from uh, those data sets. So, of course, we will show some uh, standard plots, how, how to produce a scatter plot, a box plot, a histogram, 
and uh, where you can uh, where can you find more right so the, more or less this is the end of the core python part uh, then the next uh, three and a half uh, mornings uh, would cover the sql language uh, to be exact probably two to two and a half days would be talking about sql but the last day of that of that will be how to actually use sql from the python code and uh, well uh, we honestly we, we we would never talk about pure sql and um, because we think that uh, we, uh, nowadays in uh, real case applications you uh, you never use sql alone you use sql to provide data to uh, to, to uh, some analysis software which often is uh, implemented for example in python so actually this course is actually the course how to use sql from the perspective of python access it from python code and uh, there will be one more topic which is not directly visible from this description which uh, which i'm showing on screen uh, this this topic is actually how to develop software in a group uh, in a group of programmers so hopefully we will provide you a group assignment uh, so you will be requested to uh, to create a database to provide a python interface uh, into this uh, database so to create a database in sql to provide the python interface uh, into that database and to deliver all that software to me in uh, Git. Git is yet another system which is, uh, well, it, this is an essential skill for a data scientist to be able to provide your uh, software and your results uh, in, in a software uh, repository. So Git is a system to which allows you to uh, keep track of how your how your program and your analysis grows in time. It allows you to snapshot the current state, remember a current state of your analysis, and then few, day, few, day, few days later, snapshot uh, a newer version of that analysis. Uh, and you can well go back and forth in time. You can track if you uh, made a mistake, you can go back. And it also allows you to collaborate with others. And this is something what, uh, uh, what we are going actually to try to teach you in a practical way so the main point of this course is actually that you try to do all those steps which i have described in practice so uh, we request that you actively participate in the lectures and uh, also in the assignments we have a system for automatic evaluation of assignments so you have you get multiple feedback uh, for your assignments and uh, we hope that it helps you to get quickly uh, skilled in uh, programming in Python. Okay, so th this was uh, a, long in a long introduction to this uh, first slide. Now let me go to the first lecture, so lecture uh, of uh, Laura's web. Uh, during uh, the course we uh, we would be using uh, probably the Jupyter, yeah, so uh, Jupyter notebook system. Here, here you see uh, the name of the software. So uh, basically, all participants will be requested to install uh, the software on your machines, and uh, you will also be requested when you are at the lecture to, to basically keep typing uh, with us. So we will slowly go through the code presented on screen so the teacher will be going one by one through uh, those pieces of code uh, the teacher will be uh, uh, essentially pressing uh, uh, control enter or shift enter there so the code will get executed and well the code will get executed these are very good examples so uh, uh, you will see no errors but actually the intention is that we all will be typing together and uh, well we will do our individual errors and so you will be making mistakes uh, 
you uh, or you will be seeing some uh, strange output some strange error messages so uh, we will try to discuss what is happening and uh, we will try to direct you quickly how to correct a particular mistake and uh, how to uh, go uh, farther yeah? so here you see for example that okay this is this is just 42 it's it's a number it's just a number but if you make a mistake yeah so in particular this example has no meaning then there will be some error message and uh well for new users this uh, this error messages are not clear actually to learn programming python is to learn how to uh, how to quickly resolve uh, those uh, error messages so this is how the course is uh, uh, the course is designed uh, basically there is the session where we together go through the uh, through the uh, lecture looking like what you see on screen after uh, once we uh, reach the end you will be given uh, basically some tasks uh, some tasks with a request that please try to uh, program this yourself please try to type uh, this uh, yourself so no no copy paste but just think how you would solve this uh, particular requested problem okay so just an illustration of the first lecture in the first lecture we discussed some fundamentals of a language so how to represent uh, a number, how to uh, represent a number without or with uh, a decimal part. Uh, then uh, we will discuss things like what is actually the precision of a computer. So uh, whether adding to one billions uh, work or not. We will discuss how to round numbers and uh, well basically how to express all arithmetics uh, all necessary arithmetics operations and then we will start to uh, to discuss uh, more complex things so like uh, well actually how, how does the computer internal represents uh, comparisons so uh, conditions so how, how, so what is it uh, what happens if you compare uh, if you ask the question whether, let's say, a certain variable x is smaller than 1, so we will discuss the Boolean type with true and uh, false uh, variables. Uh, we will discuss how to write uh, in this in Python, how to write uh, more complex uh, logical conditions. And uh, well, th this knowledge will be used later to, for example, how to select multiple rows uh, from a table. This will come in the later stages of the course. Yet another type which uh, will be discussed is the type uh, used to uh, to represent uh, texts, so the string type. Uh, so this, this is uh, here we will have several examples how to write different texts and with some magic notation how to actually show something what you often want to show like a new line but it's not so it's not so uh, trivial to do it i mean well it's trivial but you need to know how to how to do it uh, how for example to uh, to call, uh, to concatenate uh, so basically how to make add two texts together so compose two texts uh, together and so on and so on so basically this is like uh, the content of the first lecture you see that it starts from uh, very basic uh, concept so in principle everybody should be able to follow this course but the skill which is uh, which is needed here is a kind of already general uh, experience with uh, typing programs basic programs in the computer so we will not discuss too much uh, things like what a console is what uh, how to go to the next line or what is uh, the order how compute that the that, that the computer goes from uh, from the top line down so it executes like uh, first second third and so on lines down 
So this we assume you would already know. Okay, so uh, that was uh, the, this is the first lecture. So uh, let me now switch to a lecture which is slightly farther in the course. So this will be the lecture uh, number eight. At at this moment of the course, you you would have already knowledge allowing you to operate on uh, on tables. So he, he, tables like the one which you uh, which you see here. So you will, in in this particular lecture, we will be practicing how to load the data set from some example file. And we will be learning how to display the beginning of this data set, uh, how to show the end of this data set. So you see, this is, well, maybe not a very huge data set, but it's already something. I mean, it has nearly 5,000 lines of, uh, uh, of 5,000 5, rows. So it's already uh, much more than what you can easily comprehend by just looking at the, uh, at the table. It's good to have uh, uh, good to have skills to uh, to work with such uh, tables, uh, right? And uh, basically, the way how we will be working with this data set uh, sets is we will be trying to understand their internal representation. So uh, that, for example the data in a column must have a type defined. So for example, in this column, uh, what is kept must be a number. This is what is meant by, for example, this, uh, this line. So there is a strict type of data which can be kept uh, in the column. We will be learning how to find, well, uh, technically the obvious things. Yeah, so how to find the minimum variable, how to find the maximum, how to find in which row there is, uh, in which row of the table there is uh, uh, this uh, lowest variable. We will learn how to introduce some operations, like uh, how to construct a new column, which is basically sum of uh, uh, of numbers kept in three other columns. So, in principle, uh, all those operations which you see here are. Uh, not complex, so uh, I, I mean, you may ask the question: uh, Why, uh, why are we going to spend so much uh, time on teaching or and learning those operations? I think uh, having teaching programming for several years, I uh, I can share the following observation. So, in principle, it's a very uh, it's very easy to read the documentation to. Uh, to some uh, package, some modules, or some, uh, uh, well, to some uh, some tool which provides you a functionality to uh, which allows you to, for example, uh, do complex operations uh, on the tables. So it's easy to change the column order. It's easy to add two columns. Yeah. So conceptually, all those things are well, in some sense, even trivial. But what we see is that when you start to program yourself so when you when you as a student non-experienced student when you are requested to to do something then it does not go fast it takes time so this uh, this learning process so learning a programming language is uh, well is something what requires uh, a lot of practice and basically, this is what we try to uh, to get in this course. So we will try to ask you to practice a lot. Practice not only uh, not only uh, programming based on an example which we give, but also practice searching for uh, uh, searching for additional necessary information like. Uh, well, I can I can show you, for example, how to uh, how to produce such a histogram. Yeah, you see you see that it's uh, well, it's not difficult. These are these uh, columns, but uh, I will not tell you uh, how to change the color. Yeah, and we will request you. Uh, okay, please find out uh, how to change uh, the color of the bars in a histogram. 
the, the, the searching is a very important skill. Uh, probably is the most frequent activity which we use when we uh, really program. So no one is capable of remembering all the functions which are there with all their options. Uh, you need to uh, get skilled in finding out what the what different options uh, do. Right, so uh, this was the lecture eight. And uh, as you can see, it, it concentrates on uh, data manipulation. So different things with tables and, uh, and data uh, visualization. Uh, but uh, the final few minutes I would like to uh, to use to discuss the final part of the course, which is basically, well, the part we, which I teach. Uh, the, this part is related to the SQL language relational databases. In uh, what we do in this part is, uh, first we have a theoretical discussion of what the uh, databases uh, are and why it is why 45 years after sql was invented why it is still good to know the concepts uh, of sql databases and where they can actually be useful so uh, first we have a theoretical introduction and then we actually introduce the uh, the sql language also in the similar way uh, how we do it with python actually in a way which is mixed with Python. So let me show you uh, this lecture. So this is the first lecture of, uh, of, uh, of SQL practice. So what we do here is, okay, we cannot avoid some standard code, which is difficult at the beginning, but it's required just to connect to a database and to download the database content. But what we do then is, uh, well, we we basically show you how to write a query in SQL language and how to execute this query within Python. So you see here, this, this so the, basically the black part here is the SQL, uh, sorry, the black part is Python. What is in the red color is SQL. So we, teach you how to combine these uh, two things in order to get uh, well useful uh, functionality so the sql part uh, will be uh, will be based on an example database uh, we we have some example database and uh, basically you will get familiar with uh, with this database uh, and uh, you will learn how to uh, how to basically ask some funny questions uh, related to that, that database. Uh, hopefully this session will end up with a, a group exercise where you will be requested in groups to, uh, to build uh, a database covering some, uh, well, interesting topic. Next year it will be some different topic than this year. Uh, I think so. What I see from uh, from the experience of this year, so the data, uh, so this group exercise, in principle, worked uh, very well. And I think I can say that uh, it shows that people learned uh, quite well how to uh, how how to program in uh, Python. So compared to the first assignment, so at the beginning of the course, com so comparing the how the code look like uh, looked like then and how the code looks like after um, after the group exercise uh, so uh, i can see that a great improvement is uh, well uh, it's is visible so in principle i i as a teacher i'm quite happy uh, right and uh, i think here i would like uh, to stop so this is the end of the summary of the essentials for the uh, data uh, science course so thank you for your attention and i'm happy to answer questions